This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Omen drawn, Jim Dark Magic, Yari, you are at the theater enjoying a play at intermission. A fourth figure glides into the box, and it is Jarlaxle. Uh, but this isn't the first contact you've had with him and his organization. Mm -hmm. uh, Jarlaxle, I'm not sure how it works in the Underdark, but uh, here in Waterdeep, we take our hats off inside. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you exactly where the bank vault is, and you will, how do you say, have at it. Bank vault? Uh, he bank hands vault. you a piece of paper. <laughs> he tells you that the bank is hidden behind the apothecary shop. I don't feel like we've ever literally robbed a bank. I feel like we've done some questionable stuff, but... Have you ever robbed a banker? Sure. Outside the bank, I feel like that's a totally different thing. Have you ever robbed... Have you ever robbed someone with a bank account? All the time. Again. And you ever stolen stuff from a house? Yeah. It's pretty much like all of that, except you just do it all at once. All right. As he passes by you, you're pretty sure he grabbed your butt. <laughs> I was, I was going to try to pick his pocket, so if you Are grab you seriously going to try to pick his pocket? Oh, yeah. As you prepare to pick his pocket, you realize you've got a dagger in your stomach. Oh. <laughs> uh, you take four points of damage from the dagger, and you take 60 points of damage from the poison. What? I need you to check the place out. Oh, like I can pretend to be like a wizard, and I'm like, want to buy some well, stuff? Well, you don't have to pretend. <laughs> Can I wear a costume or something? No. Okay, I've got the perfect costume. Yeah. I'm going to pretend to be someone who is very sick. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot one other thing. Uh, they will only open an account for a noble, but they also have a predilection for tieflings with money. Well, I only know a tiefling with no money. <laughs> Do I have to help you, and is, do I have to help Jim, too? <laughs> the reality, Strix, is that you may not see him at all on this job. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Let that comfort you. All right. Mm -hmm. I received specific instructions not to ask them about a vault. Yari, I'm not going to ask them about a vault. Omen! You told me we weren't going to run into Jim, and he's right here! You brought her?! Either way, you're too early, man. I haven't gotten back to see if there's a vault. <laughs> This young woman would like to open a count. I'm sorry? Abra, cadabra, hocus, pocus, <laughs> here at Dragon's Hole. I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> what? Roll initiative! Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Chains now erupt from the floor and wrap themselves around you and rip you down through an extra dimensional like hole. And you are hurled into hell. I should have counterspelled! <laughs> you land on your feet in a dark room. You can see behind a tall lectern is a pit fiend. Umdron. This is, there's been a mistake. I mean, I, I'm sure that it happens. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've seen this before. This I... is where you will remain. Well... <laughs> uh, you can see that there are uh, soul trading contracts. This is, it's coming back to fucking haunt me, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. That's what happens. You have an employee named Jim Darkman. <laughs> we want his soul. And you have the authority. And he pushes the paper in front of you with a pen. I want to be looking at this like from the purely legal perspective. <laughs> Just make can it insight. Wisdom yeah. insight. That is 29. Whoa! You have this kind of Russell Crowe beautiful mind thing, and it all makes weird arcane sense to you. The, the blood that you sign it in sort of flashes and turns black on the page, and then Jim Dark Magic appears. Omen. Jim, where are we? I don't know. <laughs> I look over to the pit fiend and I say, what happens next? I will take you to the elevator. Marvelous. Yeah, take us to the elevator. <laughs> this is, can I go up first? There's this horrible, horrible, rotting throat. Oh. And then there's this big inhale. 
And Jim, you feel yourself pulled toward it. You're with us now. I don't want to be with you. I'm with him. I reach out and grab hold of Omen as I'm being sucked in, I guess. I punch him in the face. <laughs> Holy shit! You're not him. And if you're lucky, you'll die down here. I am him! You son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Anyone notice that the Pit Fiend is nicer than Omen? <laughs> Everyone, not in my employ, in this room, will die unless you stop this battle. You did just come back from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Burning! Yeah, yeah, on fire! I would like my ward to open an account. Time's accepted. <laughs> Omen. Yes. Yes. Uh, you are standing in the middle of this bank. Things, small things about the room are on fire. Including me. <laughs> Other things are smoldering. You can see that the tiefling woman who runs this place is behind the bar and she has just lit her cigarette on the flaming... <laughs> Sorry. It's a cool it, move. Well, it's a very, very cool move. Yes. There's a lot of opportunities here for lighting. Yes. So it's it's really it's up to her. Her succubi and incubi hench people are about the room. Uh, uh, I mean to embarrass you, but I think it's succubuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Jim has one hit point. <laughs> I just don't, I mean, this is going to go out, and I don't want, you know. What are you laughing for? You have half of it. <laughs> here, but hold on. A double. Let's take a moment here. First of all, I'm sure you want to accomplish something. An incubus. I do. No, no. I think incubus, I don't know. Suck you boys. <laughs> Ooh. That's a radical rebrand. This is what I I'm like saying. It. Like, yeah. take it to the next level. This is my band in high school. Suck you boys. Is it B O I? Because I think it should be. I, yeah. Suck you boys. Suck you boys. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. This is great. Go ahead. This is gold. <laughs> all right. And so you're looking around at all this. You see. Your friend Viari, or your employee Viari, Indeed. rather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Don't get it twisted. Lying on the floor uh, with his half a hit point. Oh, with the chandelier, right? On top of him? With the, no, no, no. Oh. He's just, he's by, he was by the bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when he uh, careened over uh, with his one half hit point. And the chandelier came down That's on right. Jim. <laughs> That's right. So you see in the middle of the room this. Now, firmly on top of Jim Dark Magic. And he Is does he not look fire? great. Uh, he's, he's probably smoldering. She okay. lose her 90% air. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. There's just like rivulets of hot wax. <laughs> <laughs> pouring down. <clears throat> um, so, yes. so and Are you like face up, do you imagine yourself, or kind of face down on the floor with the chandelier on top of you? Let's go face down. Okay. Yeah. This is the moneymaker. <laughs> right. yeah. So mostly you just see his cloak covering a lot yeah. of him with wax dripping all Perfect. over it as this heavy wooden and uh, iron reinforced chandelier with a big thick gold chain has cascaded down on top of him. And Strix, I believe you were probably hiding behind some other piece of furniture after you detonated that fireball. Yeah, I think I I didn't like the tiefling lady. She was scary. Right, so, so you probably kept your distance it, from her. Yeah, um... So I did she's notice, up here behind the bar. Yeah, I did notice there was a kitchen, though, which I didn't get to use before, so Strix is now eyeing that kitchen that's not on fire. Okay. So she might be hiding in there, peeking around the corner. Oh, okay. So she's actually kind of cracked open yeah, this door, yeah. gone into the kitchen, yeah. and is now just... Oh, we can open the door. Using, <laughs> Even using better. the door to, well, to get through. Oh, well, not in real well, life, though, right? No. No, that door doesn't open. <laughs> okay, well, well, no, well, that's not here. true. It, just, <laughs> it opens one, once. One simply need be yeah. sufficiently yeah. enthusiastic. Okay, yes. well, she's th looking through that door. Groovy. And uh, so, what happens next? Are we out of initiative, or uh, was, for the time being? Okay. Was I 
clinging. Was I? Had I dismounted this woman? Because I was stabbed like, her in the neck. Ah, uh, yeah. With the ice, was, with like the ice chip. The ice pick, but you're also yeah. very small, still, was, right? Yeah. I think I'm still small <laughs> and, and naked. And naked, right. naked, a small yeah. naked man. Yeah. I was not like still actively menacing her with this bloody no. ice pick, right? Okay. No. Okay. So just <laughs> yeah. check my motivation. You were sort of, you were sort of thrown off okay. after after you stabbed her in the neck. Okay. I say, uh, Madam, would it be possible? She to... cauterizes the wound with her cigarette. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. I, wow. I say, would it be possible uh, to go over a few of the finer points? Uh, of, Jim coughs very loudly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of the of the interaction that we just had, I think there's an opportunity. I think it could be a teaching moment for my staff, uh, and I'd like to go over with. I'd like to go over some of that with them briefly before we continue. You're running the show now, big boy. All right. Uh, first of all, I need to get from you optimally in writing, but I, I would accept a verbal contract that the erotic tyranny of your succubi and succuboys is gonna is gonna come to a halt. Because that's created a lot of problems. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that it wouldn't even require any magic to get the attention uh, of our rogue. It, it would not require it at all. Uh, a, a tasteful boot would be sufficient, I think. Um, it's hey. a wet cough. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my word, they will not trouble you. Okay, I come back over to, to Jim. How heavy is this? How heavy is this chandelier? Oh, for you, Omen, not such a big deal. <laughs> you could hoist it off easily. <clears throat> okay, I, I flip it off. Uh, obviously, <laughs> physically, it's just... <laughs> I flip it off and I, uh, I, I kneel down near Jim's head. Uh-huh. Say, we good? No, <laughs> not at all. No, I'm hurt real bad. As bad as I can be hurt and still be alive. <coughs> alive. <laughs> no, I'll get to you. This is all your fault. <laughs> oh, okay. This is something I want to. I want to see that play out. Yeah. No, I, at, at this point, watching that happen over there, I realize that with half a hit point, also as small as I am, and missing most of my blood. <laughs> It, it, it would probably be real easy to get drunk, right? It oh, you think so? Such yes. a small amount of alcohol. Yes. And there's some sort of alcohol bleeding out on the floor. There's like some tipped over. There's like a tipped over wine bottle that something the up neck here got on the bar off that's kind of Wait. pouring down on. Because I can't, I can't go oh, somewhere. Got to yes. be on the. Yeah, you can, you can basically uh, tap a keg. That's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I will, I will mosey casually in the direction of, of, of a keg. Okay. It's medicinal. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. this is all happening. Strix has noticed that she's walked into a kitchen. Yes. And so she just hear her just like making stuff in there all of a sudden. <laughs> like, she's just, just, gotten, yeah, just She just gotten distracted. Yeah, there's all kinds of goodies in there. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah, um, it's like stocked. It's like yeah. a stocked there's kitchen. There's carrots, yeah. there's a head of lettuce. I saw there's a pumpkin. A, there's a yeah. reel of cheese and there's oh, a pumpkin man. up there. Yeah, and so she just there are lots making, of recipe books. Yeah, so she's just pulling out recipe books and looking yeah. at them and just and making stuff. And I'm guessing like in a reasonable amount of time, she'll come out with snacks for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, she'll just so you come just out. hear clatter. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to top you off here. I appreciate it. It's like it's it's like there's a healing that's coming from the baking pie, but yeah. Also, Jim's like, what is that? Miss, it's, it's healing. It's, it's the same spell I've cast on you a hundred times. Um, I'm going to cure your wounds. For how much? As is my wound. Well, I have to roll and find out. Oh man, and it's gonna, it's gonna be a healthy yeah. amount, my friend. I need you to reach under the cloak and do some work. <laughs> Deep work. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, 11, 14. You're going to have to lay those hands on harder than that. <laughs> uh, 21. Okay. You go over to the keg on the bar, and it's got a spigot sticking out of it already. You just have to turn the faucet. Is there a shot glass here? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll move that underneath. Okay. <clears throat> It's one of these. As as he is as yeah. he is working dutifully <laughs> mm -hmm. on these things, I'm gonna cast dispel magic on him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Suddenly become awkwardly large. My one upside of this whole <laughs> endealment. 
<laughs> so there, suddenly, you know, <laughs> the tiny naked Viari was kind of cute. <laughs> Full-grown, man-sized Viari squatting on the bar is is less cute. Is best <laughs> <enough>. Just make <laughs> yeah. a dexterity saving throw for me. <laughs> oh, God. As you're shocked in the moment. Saving throw, I think dex is plus nine for me. That's still yeah. a 15. Okay. It's exquisite. You're able to uh, maintain your composure and your balance on the bar when suddenly you were up to full size. Like a cat. So to speak. Yes. Like a big yes. naked cat. Yes. <laughs> big a naked like a cat. cat. <laughs> and then the little shark glass <laughs> goes fumbling up in the air, but you catch it. Okay. And then I... I, just like a cat, I get down off the bar and look like I meant to do all yeah, of that. Yeah, it's all a plan. <laughs> this old tiefling woman is there with you, and she's just got her cigarette out, and little embers are falling, like little, little bits of ash are falling off the end, and she's just looking down. <laughs> Can I offer you oh, a drink? My, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> do you come here often? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna start pulling myself towards the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in the little like rough slats yeah. between yeah. the doors. Yeah, Strix, Strix like open the door and yeah. see you dragging yourself towards yeah. the kitchen and just slam it. <laughs> just slam it in your face. You, the garlic. Like, you, you have to wait until he's right and he just. Yeah. So now I'm just scratching like a cat <laughs> on the door. <laughs> I see, Viari. Do you remember? Okay. At the bar. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Do you remember how all of this came to be? Like, do you remember the events that sort of predicated this precipitous fall in your own station and uh, attire? Am I also still like a withered husk of a poison mummy man? <laughs> well, yeah. You still got your half a hit half point. A hit point. Yeah, okay. So yes. Until um, you receive some sort of magical healing, you're going to probably feel no, that. I, I'm going to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I remember mm -hmm. under instruction, okay. under under the guidance of upper management, because I'm middle management, right? Well, I uh, <laughs> I uh, was giving employees opportunities to succeed. And they did not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that, I think that you were a deeply confused person, <clears throat> and I'm going to heal you because in your current state, you can't do any of the things that I want. The problem is that even healed, you very rarely do what I want. Mm -hmm. It's something to consider. Hmm. Is the rest of this mission is your annual review. <laughs> oh no. Noted. Get some pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get some pants. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, we all knew. Okay. All right. And I say, oh, and one more thing. Do you have some sort of protection from stupidity spell? No, no. no, no. <laughs> here we go. We could research that. Here. Let's let's see what we can do for you here. Let's see what products and services uh, we can offer here. Ooh. So I, I was one and I would, one. I would love oh, that. No. I would love that one hit point. 11? Thank you very much. <laughs> no, hmm. it's six total. <laughs> All right. Okay, now Strix can heal. The uh, this game rounds Strix down, so you just have uh -huh, six I hit can. points. Six yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Divine Soul Sorcerer, which means I can heal and cast any cleric spell, any of them. Am I still? All the way wow. poisoned. No. No. Okay. Once you receive the magical healing, you start then to it, feel. Okay. Yeah. So like all of the the black veins start to retreat, yes. and my even, eyes yeah. even look I like real could, human eyes. Now. now it looks just sort of like a sweet neck tat. <laughs> <laughs> but but even even I am, am not pleased with that performance. So I'm going to cast it again. Oh, that's a two instead of a one. That's a good too. Six. All right. Twelve more. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Thank you. Right. Then I, I turn to face the uh, the proprietor. Uh, of this establishment, yes. and I said, as we were saying, my niece would love to open an account with this bank. I assume the the process is <clears throat> identical to this every time a person comes <laughs> in and wants to uh, engage your services. Normally, we deal with an exclusive clientele, but given her heritage, I don't foresee a problem. Oh, marvelous. 
Marvelous. I don't like that tone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she'll make her way from the bar over to her desk and sort of pat out some flaming papers <laughs> and uh, some open up documentation. a smoldering ledger. Yeah. And uh, she says, what is her full name? Her true name. I, hmm. That's under debate. <laughs> Can I bring out my pies now? Yeah, you should. Okay. Please bring the pies yes. out and handle this part of this okay. affair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Strix will come out with the pies and just she has one for Stuck everyone. Over Jim. And she has like little pieces even for the <laughs> even for the sucky boys. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, she's gonna she's not, you know, she's not gonna judge. That's everyone a class likes that. Yeah. yeah, so she gives a pie to everyone. The pie in, in the even it's Jim. Like, you know, she, it's, she's wow. like gives a little plate on the floor. It's like a okay. it's a planar universal. Yeah, she's like pie is just like this North Star <laughs> fixed component yeah. of the universe. Yeah. Pocus uh, takes a look at the pie and sort of gives it a disapproving sneer. And then he just goes, plop, on the floor. Well, Jim's not going to waste pie. He <laughs> <laughs> crawls over. Yeah. It's, it's the same way like a snail or a slug just like yeah. Yeah. moves over what it wants to eat. Second <laughs> rule. <laughs> yeah, you see Strix ready to like fireball him. Like, yeah. And then like notices Jim going to get the pie and she's like, oh. Yeah. Yes. Great. All right, Jim, you lay claim to that pie. Uh, okay. so yeah, you just end walk... over it. <laughs> Just sort of plant your face it's good. Uh, some of them are like, you know, a couple of little different berries. There's one savory pie. This Ooh. one might be a savory one. Some yeah. carrots, peas. Uh, doesn't go well with the other one you ate, though. Okay. Um, Jim's not going to waste pie. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I, I dimly remember where I left my clothes. Um, They're just out front. Which is going to be the title of the Viari's autobiography. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they came off when I got small in the antechamber. Yes. Yeah. So I. Yeah. In the apothecary shop. I, I stride out the there. Yeah. yeah. Shake the glass out. Obviously. Yeah, most of the glass out. All right. Um, when you walk between the two metal statues, a gout of fire <laughs> erupts between them. And I need to make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> okay. Well, luckily, this is like what he can do, and then he can invade it, so he's good. Okay, so that's 25. All right, you take half damage unless you have evasion. I do have evasion. No, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, level nine, I do have evasion. Okay. So you <clears> leap <throat> back as the fire erupts between them, and then the fire subsides. Please you're, tell me it singes some of his body hair. Nope. <laughs> you, you got out of the not way before. Not he's, even one. He's, he's, he's a redhead. He's, he's yeah. very, yeah. very You sort smooth. of heard this. And my flowing locks are not touched. That's true. Yeah. Exactly. You heard this kind of roar billowing up inside of these suits of armor bef before they uh, spewed fire. Huh. And then uh, you step back. And now the suits are just sort of like red hot and going back to their normal color. So when I when I flip backwards, yeah. with the 25, does it look good? Oh, yes. And so I, I do the three-point land. Yeah. And then I, I kind of look yeah. and I make sure yeah. Omen and everybody, saw that. And everybody just sort of heard this kind of whoosh sound. They looked and then suddenly you were out of the way and the fires had subsided. So Let us out. I just... I guess that's still on. <laughs> um, oh, yes. I forgot to deactivate. <laughs> yes. She'll say a command word and says, it's now safe for you to go through. Thank you. Is it, is it, is it really safe? <laughs> <laughs> and I will stride boldly through. All right. Yes, you can find your clothes on okay. the apothecary shop floor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, we, needed, listen, we needed one of these. I've been taking there's one all, There's also on, a, on some hangers uh, behind the counter some little gnome clothes if you um, should feel like you need <laughs> those uh, in the future. Well, you know, for a costume yeah. later, yeah. you know, disguise. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. the master of disguise. I will, while I'm, I'm out there unsupervised, um, and and like digging for my clothes and shaking the glass out, there'll be some noise anyway. So I'm gonna fucking toss this joint. Okay. Um, you know, I I know I, I have a good ability to assess valuable things, and this place was already kind of wrecked up. <clears throat> if there's a till, but honestly, more like if there's some easily identifiable al uh, identifiable alchemical goods that mm -hmm. I can stash in my bag, yeah. I will. Okay. So it's taking him a long time to put on his clothes. <laughs> not, not. <laughs> you know, I'm really quick at taking off the clothes. Yeah, it's like any other like, like any other teen sent to their room. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, not. I, I'm like two minutes. I'm not going to thoroughly like pillage this. I'm just like just keeping like, an eye out. Just the hot yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right. And uh, so while that's going on. You're watching her enter Strix into the ledger of accounts. Okay, okay. I have the piece of pie for her as well. <clears throat> okay. And I'm like, I'm sorry, mean lady. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if this up. And so this ledger of accounts, 
Does she eat that pie? Or? No. <laughs> she, but she, she says thank you. Yeah. And Les leaves it on, on the desk. Perfect. Perfect. That, that, that's not safe. I want, I, she should know that the pie is not safe there. So, uh, so, but presumably, before we get into, like, if she's looking through the ledger, make sure there's space, authenticating heritage, things like that. Mm -hmm. Once we get to any document signing, yes, um, I am going to want a second pair of eyes on it. Don't you trust me? I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> she gives you a scowl and puts her cigarette out in the ashtray. She's <laughs> like, is it okay that I'm a bee stinger now? Strix, a bee stinger. Strix bee stinger, that's my name. All will be revealed momentarily. I, I am interested, enthusiastic, perhaps overly so. A bee stinger, how interesting. Uh -huh. It was Skizix, but they're really mean. And then we made a deal with Asmodeus. We don't have to bring up any of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. See the tiefling's eyes get wide for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. We've met, I've met him like three times. <laughs> no, it was a puppet show I took her to. So she was eight. It's not a. It's, it didn't really happen. Has but... she even touched the puppet? <laughs> he knows no. me by name. <laughs> no, that's just. Ah, and uh, he, he's me. Like, oh. No, she had a birthday party. I would drink him as Asmodeus. She's still telling these crazy stories. Anyway, she's rich as hell. That's the main thing. Um, uh, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna real quick uh, dash off a note to the uh, the Red Larch branch of Acquisitions Incorporated and have uh, and have Walnut uh, sent up here post haste okay. just to get a second. Technically, she's not a documenter right now, but uh, I've trained her well. I can uh, take a look at it if you want. No, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. She's not even here. I mean, it would take a long time for her to get here. I, I come in, I'm like, what, are we looking at things? I like looking at things. We can look at it together. That's no. two sets of eyes. Yeah. Mm. Four eyes. Four eyes, all together. All told. I'll no. look at it twice. No, I need the... <laughs> it's like ten eyes. <laughs> Think about it like that. <laughs> huh? No, I would like, uh, <clears throat> optimally speaking, I would like someone who is not here currently. <laughs> because <laughs> this current configuration has not delivered uh, results for Q4. So, I uh, just this is important yeah. for me as a player. Am I like messy now? Because if I'm naked and messy, that's a little sexy. But if I'm dressed and I'm messy, I feel I feel weird about that. I feel bad about that. I mean, it's yeah. it's okay because I did crash a whole shelf of potions onto me. So if right. that's the case, yeah. I just need to know. Oh yeah, you did. Okay, I can so I can press digitate you if you ask. Right? You know, actually, I would probably you know. Or oh, just Jim. ring it out. Jim could do it too. Yeah. No, just press to digitate it. Like, but you're at the desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're at desk, Jim. This is my performance review, so yeah. I, I'm not going to interrupt over at the desk. So you need to look better. I will kind of <laughs> like Jim. Jim gets this, yeah. right? I come over. I'm like, hey. Uh, you can also see there's like a beauty parlor across the street. <laughs> Jim, and Jim's like. <laughs> Jim's like, she's not eating that pie at all, dude. <laughs> I'm like, uh, like that seems, that's a damn shame. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be back. I, uh, do you, uh, do you need any of that concealer you like? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I will get that for you. Okay. Thank as, you. As an employee. You ate your pie, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's great. There's like some oranges in it or something. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. Um, so, uh, like how much? Like, uh, no, I need the big one. I need the bucket. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll be right back. Brush. Yeah. Um, so I will, I'll, I'll hop out. Uh, ding, quick. ding, ding. Go yeah. outside into the street. <clears throat> Step out. Oh, carriage goes by. <laughs> We're to look both ways. <laughs> look both ways. Coast is clear. You hop across the street to the beauty parlor, which is open. I, I, I jump in very businesslike. I, I know, I mean, I've picked up. You know, gear for him before. What, what, uh, one of the uh, parlor specialists says, looks at you and says, "Oh, not a moment too late." <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. Uh, can you do a rush job? <laughs> <laughs> I have five minutes. I have a very important appointment. <laughs> well, it's happening what now. <laughs> yes, they'll okay. get they'll get three people on you. That's that's yeah. my kind of party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they look at your clothes and they ask you if they if you need any of that cleaned. Uh, as much of it as you can do in five minutes. They'll do what they can. Okay. Just ring, ring, ring. <laughs> I, yeah. I like to think that the prestidigitation uh, approach to personal style, I, I can see that looking really cool 
Like it's, it's just like it's iron in the clothes, but like while they're on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty like much. The, like the steam iron, except yes. it's just somebody's hands. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So you're, just, just, you're just getting softly caressed. <laughs> I just like the juxtaposition of Viare getting all like prettied up, and then like. Everyone in here is like still kind of on fire. <laughs> yeah. the, the gulf between the you're gonna look great. It's basically you're yeah. gonna like the way you look. Yeah. Wait, I guarantee it. It's, it's important to look good for your performance review. Yeah. Like no. this would be foolish it's for me true. not to do. But it. I think says how long will it take for this document to arrive? Well, so I authorize. I'm gonna green light uh, fast travel uh, for this as fast as possible. I'm willing to expend a little bit of treasure to make sure that this part of it goes right. All right. So if it means they have to teleport her once to mm. water deep and then once again yeah. out here, that's okay. Like... Wow, big money. While we're no, waiting for her, like... do you not like pie? Are you allergic to pie? It's very fattening. It's very rich. Yeah. I don't know. If you run a lot, then you know you just work it off. <laughs> just run, just, you run it, run everywhere. Deary, I don't run. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> she's scary. Well, I agree, but she's scary. Madam, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> she is scary by virtue of her incredible prowess. Uh huh. If you don't mind my saying so. Some of us are good at our jobs. Power. I think that was directed at you, man. <laughs> Uh, no, she definitely looked at me. No, I don't think so. Uh, I don't even know if this is a job. I don't still don't think I get paid. I think this is kidnapping. Well, yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I just get kidnapped. I'm pretty sure. Occasionally, we have to find common cause with terrifying extra planar creatures. Like Asmodeus. No, that's, that's <laughs> Ixne on the Asmodeus. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. I get it. Just like that time. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's good enough for me. All right. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, excuse me for a moment. I'm just gonna walk out to the front of the room and just like stand out and cry. <laughs> <laughs> just sob just, just for 30 seconds. You're 30 gonna seconds cry as hard as you ever have. And then you're gonna snip. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go out and there's the, I go out and there's the, there's like the, there's like the mirror. I, I, I look in the mirror and I say, I give myself permission to cry. <laughs> Omen, you can feel this. <laughs> this one thing. A uh, couple sniffs, wipe it off, mm -hmm. uh, and just head out front, basically to, uh, if, if, because teleportation is not an exact science. True. Uh, if, you know, if Walnut ends up hither or yon. Disfigured. Well, that's a very, very small percentage. <laughs> Okay, so you're standing waiting out front. Yeah. Um, as you do, and you look across the street through the glass window of the beauty parlor shop. <laughs> <laughs> you see Viari being tended to by a gaggle of, uh, of, of folks. And uh, you see almost like a sparkle coming off. Oh, of the yeah. It's just, I'm not paying for this. <laughs> yeah. This is not, I'm not going to, I'm not compensating this. Jim sits down where Almond was. Mm hmm. And it's just looking at the pie. <laughs> uh, the tiefling woman will actually says, you want that pie. If you're not going to eat it. I don't not. I not, don't not want, want the pie. She leans over to you and says, you can have the pie. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> that was very kind of you. I will mage hand it over to myself. Okay. <laughs> yes, the mage hand just takes scared. it right yeah. into his mouth. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't even lift my other arm. Let me my stomach. <laughs> arm, 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 arm. It's just like slowly spinning it in midair. It's like it's always the perfect bite. You're eating it like an apple. It slowly is transformed into a pie sphere. <laughs> I hate to waste pie. I mean, Strix is happy that you like pie. Yeah. So yeah. it's, you know. You finally found something. Common ground. We did. Last. Yeah. We did. His insatiable need for pie <laughs> and Strix's ability to make it. To make pie. Mm -hmm. What? How much money are you depositing in your account, Geary? The. the I don't even there, so I can't even the, fix this. I am going to wait till my boss comes back to tell you that. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> she just sort of leans back in her chair and folds her fingers over her chest and waits. Do you think the Skizix are going to come after me again? You seem to know a lot about Tiefling families, mean lady. 
she says, oh, I'm sure they will. All right. <laughs> she just keeps sitting there. Worst small talk ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward <laughs> silence. Yeah. Infernal the most pregnant crime infernal family. Yeah, yeah. She just yeah. accepts it. All right. Uh, I'm going to dash another quick note off yes. uh, to bring from the uh, Acquisitions Incorporated vault yes. uh, the Heart of Fire, oh, uh, okay. which is a gem that was recently retrieved for me uh, by some of my agents in Neverwinter. Outstanding. Uh, while, while you do that, Strix, uh, she will look at you and says, you know, if you had half a brain, you I would turn I one of the crime families against the other. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. I am not very good at dealing with things that are evil. Well, then you've picked the wrong families to join, haven't you, dear? <laughs> Wait, the beast names are evil? <laughs> Oh, they're the evilest. They're what? the worst. I thought they were good. Ha. Wow. This is the worst day of my life. They, they wouldn't know good if it crawled into their pants and died. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to think about their pants. Is that a thing that happens? <laughs> Apparently to them. Does evil go into people's pants? I'll ask Vera. A coach comes barreling down the road and stops abruptly in front of the apothecary shop. And, uh, Clamoring out of it, half stumbling, unaccustomed to such rides um, in the city, is Walnut Dawn Grass. Mm. Walnut Dawn Grass? Kakra! Kakra! <laughs> she looks like, as you would expect, someone who was summoned not too many minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, a little baffled. Yeah. Must, perhaps? Yes. Tousled? Uh, perhaps, <laughs> yes. That uh, works for me. And probably tells you that she was teleported about a block and a half away from here. <laughs> And she got. And she got. Was able to get a cart. Yes. Yes. And at I this point it. in time, we are going to make room at our illustrious table for oh. a fifth, hey. a fifth member of the party. Five people. All right. So you were in Red Larch, not but you know, twenty minutes ago. Yes. And then through a series of well planned, well executed acquisitions, ink delivery methods, uh, have found yourself. Within a block or two of where you intended to see, just I just picture bag over head, back yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> As you say that, <laughs> yes, you rip the bag off your head, you step out of the wagon, and Omen is there waiting for you. Um, so I stumble out. He looks a little uh, disheveled, and I, and maybe have might have been crying just a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> Who was crying? Omen. Oh my god. Um, Your so face is a little puffy. As soon as I see Omen, uh, I become the most stoic person you've ever seen. Yes, it's a statue. Omen. Yes. Um, and I go, Omen, what can I do for you? Welcome to the big leagues, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, I'm ready. <laughs> While it's me and Coach. You see this all transpire. The coach come up, and as the coach leaves, you see um, this figure standing outside talking to Omen with her back to you. Okay. Um, I'm I'm good, right? Oh yeah, you're good. Did, did the, this, you get the blowout? Yeah, like yes. very. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of slightly curled, yeah. a little wavy now. I like oh, that. Yeah, you're looking your best. Um, the uh, does this also count as a short rest? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to experience in person. <laughs> did you feel that Is wave? It just of, as upsetting. Of yes. Energy. Do I also level up? <laughs> Yes, you take a level from another member. <laughs> <laughs> <You eat it. laughs> um, so I'll I'll roll up uh, uh, hit points uh, okay. later when no one's looking. The uh, uh, just come on out. Yes. Um, with the concealer, which I didn't forget. Right. Yes. Um, you have that. The tub. <laughs> right. The bucket. Bucket o conceal. <laughs> um, and uh, like. Uh, Hey, boss. Hey. You're about to cross the street. Coach goes by. <laughs> <laughs> just you look both mud. ways. Yeah. <laughs> Splash. No, it's just like one little fleck of mud. Like, just clip. Uh, like and you're like. Tastefully, like. like yeah. Oh, and it's way worse. Like, if I had been hit by the carriage, it would have been fine. Right. But like this, it's, this ruins my whole fight. What's well, actionable, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I um, look at you and uh, with all the official muster I can, I say, walnut on grass of the red large branch. Oh, the, the, a large branch. That's, uh... Yeah. That's, that's why she gets paid the big bucks. 
You know, you know that she is a franchise owner. <laughs> and I just walk into it. I just walk, I just walk right in. Uh, just right in. Just right in. I have a delivery. This is my performance review. <laughs> I say, I say, walnut. There's a little cape flourish. He <laughs> blows past you. That's uh, he's a professional liar. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Duly noted. All right, now you're going to see things in here that may give you the impression that you have joined an organization wholly incapable of satisfying its own goals. <laughs> you're looking back past them, and there's this apothecary sign. You're like. You should understand that whatever you might see in here, I am an effective, noteworthy person. <laughs> of course. I know that. Let's continue. <laughs> right. So uh, we so go through. I say, watch out for these statues. They're super hot. <laughs> yeah. So he leads you from an apo uh, through an apothecary shop into a back door that takes you into a place that does not look like it's part of the apothecary shop at all. It looks like this a fancy kind of study living room bar. Um, obviously like a like a rich person's club. And I say, of course you know Strix, Strix, Walnut, and Walnut, the Strix. Yeah. Strix is wary, yeah. as usual. <laughs> like, please don't throw dead things at me. <clears throat> also in the room, you can see there's a tiefling woman behind a desk um, waiting patiently for Omen's return. And there are also four demons, fiends, devils, you're not sure what, but they basically look like a fiendish human men and women with bat wings and horns. Did any of them eat the pie? Uh, yeah, everybody but Hocus ate the okay, pie. Okay, yeah, well, fuck him. <laughs> no taste. So I would, I would see Walnut and Jim's like, huh, we've never met. Yes, we've never met. <laughs> Oh, they've totally met. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'll, I'm convinced. Listen, Walnut, I know that technically speaking, you are not a documenter at this time. However, you have developed uh, a particular set of skills uh, when it comes to looking at documents. I need your, I need your eyes on this. Anytime <clears throat> you're signing a, a document. Anytime you're filling out something like this with someone who looks like this, no offense meant, you want to you wanna be very careful about it. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for this, and I'm going to do a great job. That doesn't surprise me in the least. I'm capable. You missed all the pie. <clears throat> oh, no, there's more. Ooh. It's just back in the room. We are in the process of opening an account for Strix Bee Stinger here. Great. Uh, do we have the proper paperwork? She will turn the ledger around and show it to you. You can see that it's badly burned and charred, but she Sorry. has she's started writing down Strix's information. I was trying to impress upon her the importance of putting some money in the account. She has not volunteered the information. Strix just points it. <clears throat> I'm going to get up and give my seat. To whoever wants yes, to sit. Yes, yeah, exactly. Straight. And you're starting to look over the document. You can see that uh, this is a pretty standard uh, method for logging information about an account owner. Uh, you can read a lot of the side text, which talks about how uh, this account is extremely private. It's safeguarded. It's held. Uh, the, the money will be held in a vault underneath this facility. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it also talks about terms how much money you have to keep in the account. And you can also see that uh, between the words are uh, little tiny binding sigils, hmm. which uh, sort of suggest, and as you read further, that uh, one cannot speak of this account to anyone. Uh, once she signs it, she'll basically be sworn to secrecy, never to divulge where this money is kept or by whom. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, this is certainly unique. This is not something that I've... I, oh, man, I take it you've already read these. Yes. I, my eyes, like, flit very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Being that she can't talk about this place uh, where she's put the money after she has deposited the money, I think it would only be fair if we saw the facilities 
where the money's going to be kept. I mean, can I do an insight roll on this contract? You sure can. Uh, yeah, if you're going to be seventeen, if okay. we're going to be sworn to something like that, we should be able to see the. the yeah, facility. this is uh, the nature of this account is such that is doubly protective. It protects the bank and it protects the 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 actual account holder. Uh, it, it sort of guarantees that neither will betray one or the other. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's this sort of account, this beautiful equilibrium written into this. But you believe that it is, as you look at the fine print, it is well within the account holder's rights to see where the money is going to be kept. Okay, um, and so I point to it and I, I say just that, I say... Um, ah, you have very good eyes. Thank you, and I look at Omen. <laughs> just for a second, <laughs> just to see if you notice. I just, I just fold my arms with pride. Um, we would like to see uh, the vaults. Yes, of course. The account owner may see the vault. Mm. Nice guys, she's good. She's good. Mm. Say, well, but obviously we're still prepared. Stand. Yeah, exactly. So you have the uh, the heart of fire gem, of course. You were yes, absolutely. <clears throat> yes. I don't, I don't want to go in there alone. I will sweep up, and I'll say, um, could I escort her, young lady? Is a little skittish. I can understand maybe not wanting the higher-ups in there, but, and I sort of make eye contact and implies, you've seen me naked and tiny today. Am I really anything of a threat to you? <laughs> you stabbed her in the neck. <laughs> Several times. Yeah, but I'm so, I give her the biggest puppy dog eyes. And I'm like, I'm like, this this poor girl, I I, I can accompany her. Yeah, so you're so right. I can, you're like... <laughs> it would be nice to get a peek on it though. Uh, she is a little something of a basket case, and I am worried. Why is everyone so rude to me? <laughs> but no, no, I don't believe that uh, your services will be necessary in this instance. I'll go chat up the succubi. <laughs> so she, she, you won't let you won't. She won't let Viari go. No. Uh, Jim's like, <clears throat> well, I guess you don't need me anymore. And I, I leave out that door, uh -huh. and I go, <laughs> and then I turn invisible. <laughs> and before the door can shut, I sort of slip back in. All right. <laughs> scene. Leaving. I'm gonna go home. No. All right. And not come back. You won't see me again. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Wow. I will actually. Uh, and my side lot makes me go, I'm here, but I'm invisible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, dear, she says. Uh, you can see that she's looking at a scrap of paper that has been badly, badly burned. And she says, Oh, my, this is not good. Today's access codes for the vault have been badly burned. I can't even read this document. Do I think that this is legit hmm. in any way? Go ahead and make an insight check. Yeah, anybody yeah exactly. Can. Anybody in the room can. Mm -hmm. Which is everybody. Can mending fix that? Not if it's On burnt fire. away. Yeah. Oh, that one's you. Sorry. Yeah. Here, you, you, you're on this one. Scroll that character. Because you're in here. Oops, I, I am terrible. <clears throat> insight is probably real good for you, is my suspicion. Mm -hmm. I got 15. I got 16. <laughs> nope. No? Yeah. 18. What? 18. Inside negative. Oh, that's negative <laughs> one. That's it's exquisite. based on wisdom. <laughs> Uh, that is 15. Okay. And Strix, I'm sorry, what did you I, I just got an 11, uh, okay. or a 10, sorry. So everyone except Strix gets the sense that this tiefling woman is not lying, that uh, this piece of paper does have uh, the... Oh, and it's just ensorcelled in some way yes. as, to as to produce the... Exactly, yes. It's a, it's a security precaution. Well, of course. But look, course. the paper was damaged by her wretched fireball. Why are you... Hmm. Do I, if I look at this, do I think that there's do I think that there is some way to I sidle up next to Omen and I go, that's bullshit. <laughs> no, I just I just I step where I heard the voice from just to sort of like nudge him. Just like to push him out of the way. <laughs> you accidentally bumped into me. I understand it's invisible. <laughs> How could you know? How could you possibly know? <laughs> so I'm 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 looking at this paper. Is there is there any way I think I can reconstitute this? 
Uh, or do we have to come back tomorrow? Uh, it, your initial guess. Your initial guess is you'll have to come back tomorrow. But uh, you also know that you have a document specialist who might be able to reconstruct it. Wow! But it would, think? you think that is a that is a tough? Oh, it's tough, tough order. Yeah, you think this is going to require some chemical applicants? Uh, uh, Real sure. tools. <laughs> <laughs> and, that was actually uh, cracked. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, that was so good. Yeah. Was, the timing was good. Yes. Yeah, this would take one of the best documenters in the world. Well, here, here. So we're gonna so. I think that oh, I think that's me. Oh, I was just gonna say. <laughs> uh, I think that Walnut and I together could probably crack this. You think? Crack this nut. I'm not sure. It looks pretty badly burned. Yeah, well. Oh, no. <laughs> we, no, this is well within our powers. Yeah, this is yeah. Together, yeah. If they're gonna go alchemic it up, mm -hmm. um, I'll say alchemical romance. <laughs> Where's the uh, where's the access pad? The what? There's code, right? Yes. Could you show me where the code is entered? I might be able to help you out. I'm their security consultant. <laughs> <laughs> I whisper in your ear, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Save him. Um, Persuasion, 25. Oh, but yeah. Wow. wow. No, 20, 23. Well, there's more of the hue than meets the eye. Uh, she'll take you up uh, be up here on the yeah. upper level, and uh, she'll point to a section of wall that recedes, um, but is not is currently not. It, it just looks flush. With it, ha else. it happens to walls as they get older. Yes. <laughs> it's normal. So the vault access is through this wall. Hmm. And the command word causes the wall to recede. Oh, it's a word. A phrase. Oh, okay. Okay. That might be a little more. <sighs> That's nothing mechanical that I can necessarily fidget with. Um, <clears throat> that said, like professionally, I am a second story man. Like I break into places. So would I have a chance of some, I'm trying to think what this would fall under. Like, how would I how would I normally go about cracking this if I didn't have a command word? Got it. Uh, so you believe that the first thing you'd want to do is make a perception check to see if there is a way to access. Like, even though a command word might cause it to recede, there may be mechanical mechanisms. There's still in the a wall mechanism that underneath. Could... Okay. <clears throat> so you're For doing that. shooting. Right. And that's yeah. going to take a bit of time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you survey the thing. All right. So here, here so it's like. Uh, I just put my arm down on the bar. Yes. And just sweep off glass <laughs> and everything like that. Yes. I mean, in truth, uh, <clears throat> my suspicion is that an alchemical cabinet and a finely stocked infernal bar probably have more than one or two things in common. So you're very, very fortunate, um, and Walnut, you realize this as well, that there's a kitchen, an apothecary, and a bar here, all of which can provide chemical substances you can use to try to figure out what this passphrase was. Fantastic. Absolutely. So we, 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 we put out this tiny little scrap <laughs> yeah. right in the middle of this clean section. This is when the camera pulls in over mm -hmm. the top. Mm -hmm. We can see Walnut's feathers. You can see Omen's bald head looking down. We're both pointing. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we get to do this, I go to shake your hand. I say, let's do good work. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, and then I cast um, Enhance Ability on you, and I give you Owl's Wisdom, so you have advantage on Wisdom checks, which I assume wow. you'll have to do. Uh, oh, oh. Didn't, didn't need it, but obviously appreciate it. Generally speaking. <laughs> she looks so crushed and so <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking, we tell people before we cast spells on them, it's. Fourteen ninety eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just how we do things on my team. I'm, I'm sorry. Let's get to work. If Strix sees Walnut looking sad, she'll go get the one last pie that she hid from Jim <laughs> in the kitchen, and then bring Walnut a piece of pie. No, oh, clean space. Clean space. I, I'm, 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 I'm making a shield around the doctor. Eating it like a pig out of a trough. <laughs> Invisibly oh. chunks of it. <laughs> yeah, the pie I that's left in the kitchen. Did yeah. you just go start eating the one in the yeah. kitchen? <laughs> 
just big, big invisible man with like pie, like blueberry all yes. over his face. Yes. And as you're looking at this document and trying to reconstruct it, at various points you realize you're going to need something else. So, you know, you can send somebody off to the kitchen or somebody off to yeah. the apothecary. Yeah, actually, I've already pillaged the outside. Mm -hmm. I would love as I'm up here looking at the wall and they're like, oh, if only we had this. And I'd be like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. It's, nice. it's just harvested yes. out front, right? Right, yes. All right, so you, so you start setting them down. As they start requesting things, they just sort of magically appear out, out of Viari's hand and are put on the bar. Very casually, I don't even bother looking at you because I'm a good employee and I would expect you to understand that this is what I do. I facilitate. Yeah, I'm a facilitator. Yeah. I was like, yeah, well, I, we, are, we are, you know, ass deep in this thing. We are just going crazy on this, this document. Okay. <clears throat> It requires some very fine handling of the document because you could cause further disintegration. Of oh, it. yeah, it's, it's already very brittle. Exactly. So I'm thinking intelligence, sleight of hand. Ooh. 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 Wow. God damn it. I'm going to have to have, I'm going to have to ask Fiari to do this. <laughs> uh, you look over at me and my hands are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just nod. I have a plus three, so my hands are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my hands are just in super position. <laughs> you would need a device to ascertain their exact location in space. Uh, I say, Viari, you're in your keep. Yes, sir. All right. So I, we need him to. We need him to be inspirational. Yeah. What well, to, to to manipulate these okay. things? I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him very very specific, very strict instructions. You see, like this is going to be. We're going to make something here, so it's going to be the opposite of what you usually do. Just do everything that you would ordinarily do, but backwards. <laughs> yes, sir. The fact that you let somebody else in wow. on the thing <laughs> that we were doing together, I hate VRA forever now. <laughs> Full enemy tier. I'm just like sitting there like, this fucker. Let's see it. Let's see it. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm directing these, these precision tuned instruments of his uh, right. on the application of these. So you will be able to use your sleight of hand okay. and apply that bonus to your intelligence check. Okay. So it's your sleight of hand. So so I, I have a plus 13 to sleight of hand. Wow. But that's using your dexterity. Exactly. Normally. So so you're replacing your dexterity bonus, which five. is plus nine, yeah. with your intelligence bonus, which is plus four. So you take five off of your Slide of hand. Okay, so five less. Yeah. Yeah. So you're plus um, eight. Plus eight. eight. Now roll this and have the number on it be very high. And you realize that as you're applying the chemicals and doing this as delicately possible, you only have one shot. Oh. Now do not miss your chance <clears throat> to blow. Is Mom's this, spaghetti. You know, like I'm assuming I'm applying things to the paper in a particular yes. order very delicately. Yes. Is this in any way similar to like I do makeup? You know, mm -hmm. I yeah. you know, I make people up. I yeah. that's it's a like big a touch part up. of yeah. So would it be possible for me to transfer some of these skills and get advantage on this role? Yes, Pat. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Reconstructing Brilliant. a document is just like applying makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Why it did I never <laughs> see it before? <laughs> This is why we, oh, we push no. for advantage before we roll. Patrick. Before we roll. Before we roll. Now, he's not wrong. Okay, so one is, I mean, let's just say it, the lowest number on there. <laughs> now, I want you to now roll that the highest Now you got that out of your system. <laughs> it's a 13. That's. <gasps> it's right. Okay, now. You just hear Jim go, oh, shit! <laughs> okay, but, but I've been studying this other wall, right? I cough. The, like, the little bits of paper. Going. <clears throat> but it's so gentle. Like, it's so soft and gentle. Oh, like, okay. when he goes, I go. <clears throat> <laughs> I go and, and I go, I go like this. And then I've been studying this wall. Is there a mechanism? Because I want to just reach out and, and go, click. And I want to open this thing. I bet you do. I really want to. I don't know if I can, but this is like I'm like I'm proper fucked right now. I was this is this is supposed to be my wheelhouse. They trusted me. It's like this is my only way out of this fire is to turn around and try to trigger this mechanism. Uh, but it's not worth it to me unless I can do it and look cool. I see. I see. Okay. Um, so you've you'd studied the wall very 
briefly. Um, For as long as it took them to do this vast alchemical yes, process. Yes. So at this point in time, I want you to make an intelligence investigation check. Ooh. Ooh, he didn't let him do perception. He, he. It's like, it's like uh, technically speaking, if he succeeds, that's good for you, but I also need him to be chastised. 16. Straight up. Straight 16. Okay. You sort of like... Um, Yeah, so you're kind of check. There's this shield on the wall, mm-hmm. um, not a, not a physical shield like, that you can take off. It's actually part. It's actually just sort of yeah. embossed crest. Type yeah, thing. crest on the wall. Uh, you start to um, sort of fiddle with that and the area around it to see if you can just sort of knock on the the part of the door, which you know, will, will pull this rabbit out of the hat for you. Um, and you, the rest of you, <laughs> see him turn to the door and just go like. I mean, but first I say, you didn't need that anyway. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then That's it's like it. trying another part of the door. <laughs> That's a genuine relief. And this suddenly is your this attention is, is totally fixated on this door, trying to get it open. And you become increasingly desperate as the seconds tick down. <laughs> like, it's not working, man. Tink. <laughs> <clears throat> then just put my forehead against it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way that I think maybe like gaseous form, I can just go in and open it from the other side? You're not seeing much in the way of a seam. There's not. No, a seam no. Right I think there. this lady's a pro. Yeah. I mean, I think that she's a pro. I think you need higher dimension numbers. door, maybe. There's no seam around this. Something I can <laughs> There's no. This is really well made. There's no glowing <laughs> arrow. <laughs> oh, this is this is not good because. Walnut has beliefs about this this day. Yeah. And it was it was supposed to be very different. It was supposed to be special. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't. And I blame you. <clears throat> okay, as long as I get away with it, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so this is so this is a, a complete hash. We have to come back and do this. Like we literally have to go home and come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Could I smell where air is coming through it? No air. There's no air. Yeah. There's no seam. It's just magically. It's just a great. Why don't you yeah. just hit it? Just break it. That gets rude. Well, I whisper. I yeah. Come to you. I mean, could you ask her if you could stone shape it? Like, hey, we really want to get in there. You don't have the codes. I could probably stone shape a doorway for us, right? Is stone not stone, right? Consider this. Uh, to enter the vault <clears throat> without using the proper passphrase will almost certainly bring the authorities down upon you. <laughs> it was a good idea. I'll straighten up and say, this is a really good choice of all, sir. Oh. Yes. It's past my first round of inspection. <laughs> the flying colors. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's all just, I'm gonna say. Totally. Just. This fault? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Super good. Okay. I'm all not right. saying I couldn't. I'm yeah. just saying it wouldn't be easy. Yeah, well, that's. I mean, that's what we're looking for. We good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well. I just run the place. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I, I guess it's literally time to leave. Unless you happen to know what sort of passphrase a tiefling would use. Yeah, what was left on the, what was left on the document? Like what part of the phrase, like one word or something? Yeah, there was like the first three words of what looked like a nine word phrase. Oof. Well, what were the first three words? Yes. Um, they're in Inferno. Well, as they would be, but... I can read that. <coughs> I, I, I've recently <laughs> taken a crash course in Inferno. <laughs> That's right. So, I, it's, it's, it's on Duolingo now, so you can just like... Oh, nice. That owl just hooked me the fuck up. <laughs> the first three words are... Terrifying villain enraged. Well, that doesn't help. Can I buy a vowel? Do, do they... Does, does he translate that? 
Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we know we know the first part. Okay, so, but that that doesn't sound like a saying or a passphrase. This is like, this is like the URLs you get out of Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be a randomly. I think it generated is. passcode. Yeah, I mean, that would be the most range. secure. Well, that, that could yeah. be the Who's beginning the one of that something. That makes the passcode. I think it's. My suspicion is it's random. So it's just. It's randomly delivered, from some infernal source. Oh well, we can we can suss that out. Hopefully. Likely having to do with the bank's owners. Mm -hmm. Possibly from Asmodeus himself. Yo, oh, fine! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, just, you know, I'll just send him a, a sending spell. Oh, hey, buddy! <laughs> Nobody and thinks I'm here anyway, so can I just I investigate sure the wall <laughs> yeah. as well? Yeah, I mean, I saw him, wall. he's still just like crying. <laughs> the wall. Yes, so yes. I'm just, as a friendly, I'm going to try to take a look at it if there's anything I okay. can. Make a arcana check. Nineteen. Uh, you believe that it is a that the seams are magically sealed. Okay. While this is closed, that the passphrase basically opens up the seams and allows a mechanical mechanism to open the door. Uh, you think that the passphrase, um, given everything that you know, is probably randomly generated, uh, and uh, but you also think that it, it's like any magic; it can be neutralized. Like magic can be dispelled, oh. as it were. Or... God, you'd have to you'd have to get up pretty early in the morning to dispel something like this. But I would love to see it. <clears throat> yeah, what would I have to do to try? I mean, if if I think that there's even a chance that I could do it, I, I mean, I'll yeah. try. If you have a dispel magic available, you can try. And yeah, you, you think it's probably higher than a third level spell that seals this up. So you'd have to make a roll. Okay, a dispel magic check to succeed. And the way that works is you roll a die. Yeah. Well, yeah, roll a die. And your intelligence. That's bonus. what I came to do. Uh, roll but and obviously, die. people are going to know you're casting the spell. You're, it's you're vocalizing. I, I think you're, we know he's here. Yeah, <laughs> his face is also covered in blueberry yeah. pie. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. There's just this floating mashed pie. Wow. Nice. Jeez. All right. What did you want? Plus my what now? Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, okay. I just I whispered to Viari. <sighs> Hit it one more time. So the seam appears as Jim dispels the magic. And actually, there's a bit of a fiery flourish around the seam. Fire seems to bleed out from the wall along the seam as it reveals itself. Uh, the, the aperture is still closed, but you can now think it can be forced open. And I, I reappear and I go, just kidding, I, I didn't actually leave. <laughs> and when you do that, uh, there is a sort of a bell that sounds in the ether. It's not even clear where it comes from. And she says, oh, now you've done it. You've sounded the alarm. No, I just opened the door. House Castellanter security will be here momentarily. I turn then we gotta go fast. <laughs> All right. Hold on, hold on. In a moment or for a moment? Because if if they'll be here momentarily, it means tech, they'd just be here for a moment. So if they come and then leave, I'm okay with that. Nope. I'm gonna start some shoving chairs in front of the door. <laughs> like that? <clears> the <throat> front door. Yeah, yeah, the front door. Yeah, I'm just throwing like- I'm As just... you do, the, the uh, succubi and the succuboys are just taking them away again. <sighs> I'm, did we not want the door open? I'm sorry. I made I thought the we pie. Did. We're going down now. Okay. Time is of the essence. Yes. Yeah, we're going down. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm gonna now that now that the, the physical aspect of the door yeah. has been revealed. Yes. Is it possible to? Is it possible to stone shape that? Um. To just push it open. You think it might be able to push it open with some strength? Okay. Essentially working against the mechanisms that keep that press the door closed. Yeah, that's I'm basically gonna I'm gonna use stone shape to make it a very easy job. Okay. Ooh, could you stone shape and like just yeah, get some big handles? handles. Yes, <laughs> you could totally do that. <laughs> stone shape some handles, and then who's gonna be uh, applying the pressure, the strength to force this thing open? I, I'll, I, I'll assist if there's space. Okay. I think I think it, I should warn you. We are endeavors have activated all the traps down below. Good luck with those. Yeah. Well. All right. So uh, surprisingly, Omen is actually quite strong. Yeah, I think he's probably the strongest one here. Yeah. So you can make a roll and you get advantage because of your newfangled handles and your friend's assistance. Mm-hmm. As you uh, are no, is this so in terms of rolls? It's it, a strength check. Strength check. So we're not yeah. doing athletics. Just raw strength. Okay. Uh, raw strength. So it's the die plus three mm -hmm. with advantage. Correct. Done. 14 is the first okay. option. Having some trouble. It's yeah. very heavy. Uh, 
It's magical. I um, see Omen struggling, and that is the last thing I want to see. Um, so I watch You'll see it. something crack in his. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't hear anything like that. Um, I use Wild Shape, um, and I turn into a bear. And I use <gasps> There's a bear in here! My hulking mask. Yes, yeah, so both of us, let's hit it. Yeah. Right? 16. And plus bear, plus, plus bear. bear, plus bear. Which all right, with 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 bear essentials assistance, yeah. uh, you push this door open, uh, grinding against its. <gasps> ears. I'm pulling on a little dooflicky back here Whoa. to create an opening a as stair. the wall sinks that in. That is so what? cool. I know. When did this happen? And we can reveal at last, oh at long last, at long last, what what falls underneath. Oh my god, there's a little flame wall. Oh, fuck. Oh, All right, shit. as you come down, you see a staircase immediately beyond uh, that drops down into a room with an illuminated floor covered with runes. There's a spike wall. Spike walls and a wall of fire, a wall of green flame. Oh, green, green flame. flame. Also, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> spike wall. Yeah, classic. I know. <laughs> Not even trying. You don't There's see a lot of spike, spike walls. Wall. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the it's, classic it's, spike it's wall. nice. Well, it's, yeah. it's, it, it isn't in the. It isn't in this year's like uh, catalog. Right. So it's no. like. Yeah. It's, it's definitely vintage. tasteful. And down vintage. here, you also hear the sound of a klaxon. The alarm. Yep. Cool. Uh, oh lord, runes. No, oh, my. Okay, so there's all kinds of shit. Like, what kind of runes? What do these look like? They look like infernal runes. Um, and uh, that pulse with magical power. All right, but we do have two wizards. Well, I'm a, a wizard and a sorcerer. Same difference. It's like an amateur wizard. Uh, no, it's actually like a better wizard. It's like a wizard. Wizard doesn't follow the rules. Didn't, no, it's really just a wizard. Didn't read who the books. Oh, didn't go talented. to school. Like a wizard, but also a rebel. Like a cool. Yeah, like a cool like wizard. A, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I, I just as soon as as soon as we get down there and see this like eldritch dance floor, yeah. yes. I just snap a finger, point at the floor, and say, <laughs> "Wizards." I'll take a look at it. I, I, I mean, right. I'll look at it. Do it as an intelligence or arcana check? Your like, arcana check okay. as you descend the stairs, Jim. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Tricks is yes. smart. I <laughs> open the door. <laughs> I also I get a plus count? eight. I get a plus eight to arcana, so, so it's twenty-eight. 28. I also have a plus eight. So it's okay, not 20. 28. Okay. It's 20. Uh, so the two of you descend, kind of like bumping shoulders down the staircase to be the first one down. <laughs> yeah, uh, not talking and about then when you look cooler. around, you're quickly sort of studying everything and think, yeah, those are those runes on the floor basically have magic within them that will target you if you move across them in the incorrect order. Okay. Um, and but you sense not. you sense the nature of the magic is one of transmutation, so these things might turn you into something or possibly throw you around like a rag doll. Into the spikes. But they're not yes. linked to the spikes? It's not like step on the wrong plate and the spikes come out? The spike uh, you, think you get the sense that you you would be hurled against the spikes. Oh. All right. Not cool. Um, but Those do spikes, I... by the way, are all silvered. So. Oh, oh so, you, so cool. you can't come in here even like you're... Even if you're werewolf. Werewolf. No. Yes, exactly. So if, so if I think that, do I think floating over it might solve this problem? No. So they're... Oh, yeah. but they, they like extend yeah, and project. If you pass over them, jeez, <clears throat> they will try to fly. Okay. okay. Is there a way that maybe I could use my swarm of rats to just sacrifice a couple of rats? You'd be taking damage. I, <laughs> oh, your own body. My own yeah. rat. There'd be parts yeah. of my body technically that are the shapes of rats, but you could heal me afterwards and we'd know which ones were bad and which ones weren't. No, like, honestly, guys. We know. As for the wall of fire, that looks like a magical wall of fire. We right. we know we know who goes out over the runes. I've I, uh, I've not had I've not had a great day. So uh, oh, no. tell me tell me which one to step on, and I will I will do it. And if you're wrong, I'll be fine. Wow. I don't know if you'll be fine. It sounds like they throw you into a wall of spikes. You won't be. You I, won't. I, be I look at her. I'm like, fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. I don't think so. I think that you will be juiced. Yeah, I think it'll be a real bad. I don't know a lot about walnut. I'm I'm trusting. But my team. can't you summon animals to go Sir. die for us? Not in this game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I can, but I don't have it equipped. So yeah. No. Hmm. Um, 
Those so, infernal you know. runes on the ground, can I read those? Yes, okay. and uh, you can see that they are runes representing uh, the various layers of the nine hells. Okay, great. Oh, All right, so it could so, be an order. Right, it could be an order. Like, a, a, see if, see, I just try to identify mm -hmm. if there is a path that will take will, you from, from the top to the bottom. Yeah. All right. Um, I will, I guess that would be it, not instant. And then, would that be arcana or religion? That'd be religion. Yeah. All right. I will do a religion do you, check. Do you know them? I don't know them from top to bottom without <clears throat> looking at a book yeah. as a person, but Strix probably would, maybe. Yeah, back in the day, check. we would have been playing Planescape. Yeah, yeah. We would have had this shit. Um, so I have plus seven, so 16. Yeah, you think you can. Okay. Yeah, you would pass that test. You could, yeah. you could hopscotch across them. Uh, in w from top yeah. to bottom. And you might have okay. to back up on one and then. Well, okay. Definitely, that's it's, classic. It's the real question. Right, so, is it top to bottom or bottom to top? We don't know until I step on it. So. <laughs> well, Strix is going to be like, that's an, an unhealthy behavior. And you should see your HR representative for that. And she's going to try and <laughs> who is H She's oh, going to try HR, and do I? it from God from damn. ascending to descending. Okay, so she steps on the first tile. Hold on. That she that she is. Does? Um, Wait, whoa. That's yeah, right. I would say point. I go, no, no, no. Really, the first tile. Too late. <laughs> can right. I grab her? I'm not. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can <laughs> really grab her. I will. I will not not roughly, but just like you know, like we we were we were kind of friendly Wait, before when you first came onto the team. I'm like. And I, I just like I'm like, come on, this is. I'm just. You you got the know how, and I'm the person who dances merrily into doom, right? Are you all like on the staircase now? Can like, yeah, yeah. This on all the this? landing, I imagine. Okay. Great. All right, so, Strix is like, fine. You're all keep trying the to impress. The door open. closes behind you. Well, go Good. ahead. Good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you point? Yeah, I'll point and be like, nope. That I'll take a mage hand and be like, boop, boop. Okay, and I will. I'll dance out there. All right, you are flung against the spikes. Oh no! Immovable rod. Make a dexterity save. Oh my god! Oh. Can get that up before you hit the spikes. No, I thought you were actually <clears throat> trying to be self-sacrificing because that's what my party does all the time. Well, I mean, <laughs> to to an extent, to but a degree. I have a. I usually have a plan oh, things do. go no, wrong. We just die. <laughs> but you know what, though, it's like you're going to be snapped around like a windsock. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as you. <laughs> So I, I, I had it out yeah. and ready. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Just make a dexterity saving throw. Oof. Nice. 23. Done. Yes, so you snap that thing out. <laughs> you're sort of, you do not get impaled on the spikes. Uh, where are the rest of you at this point in time? Still on the landing. landing. Was that yeah. on the bottom landing, to top yeah, or top landing. to bottom? <laughs> you're on the stairs or on the yeah, landing? Yeah, yeah. Stairs we're, or landing? We're all, we're all down the stairs, I think. So you're all on the landing? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. And are you still in bear form? I am in bear form, and I just want to point out for people that don't know about Wild Shape, I can take damage all the way to zero, and it's just a freebie I get turned back into myself. Oh, so that's if we nice. want to send somebody oh. across. Oh, really? Viari yeah. super didn't know as that. He, uh, <laughs> as Viari is sort of hanging now on yeah. his rod, the wall of fire. Oh, come on. Oh, no! Just moves across the room, engulfing you, and basically stopping where all of you are standing. So I need everybody to make dexterity saving throws. Yeah, I scream and scream. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And All right. can they get back up the stairway? They could potentially dexterity saving throws. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You have disadvantage. I'm gonna okay. use one of got my- got 17. Oh no. I'm gonna use one of my abilities. Okay, cool. Well, because I don't feel like dying. Bears are not dexy. Well, no, so, I was just gonna say like, for me, no, this says that. Um, so that's thirteen. 50, but I'm gonna 15. use. <clears throat> I'm gonna use two d four for my um, favored by the gods ability to add to my. Throw oh great! Throw. Smooth. No, Chris. Yes. Um, I, I bang. I have a racial ability that means that magic can't put me to sleep, and some have said that sleep is a form of death. <laughs> and sufficient <laughs> sufficient damage. Sleep would create a state <laughs> like sleep. Yeah, yeah. Not unlike sleep. Similar to sleep. So what do you think? Does that make me immune to all magic damage? No, mm. no, no. It's worth a try. Uh, yeah, it was definitely worth a try, though. So what was your save? I don't know. Oh. Let's find out. So we have a 15. Oh! oh. Well, we have nothing. 18 plus I'm resistant to fire. Well, funny thing about the screen flame is it negates immunity and resistance to fire. Well, it's an 18. Because everything here is designed to kill devils as well as humans. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> so that does nothing for you, but you succeeded. 
Your saving throw? 12. 12. 17. 17. Okay, the magic number is... Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just thought it was funny because I actually have negative one, so this is really... Even this two. <laughs> <laughs> even this two is a one, so that's something right. good. The magic enjoy. number is 17. Oh. So you succeeded, Jim, oh. and you succeeded, Strix, oh. and everybody else gets baked. Uh, but even Strix and Jim are going to take half damage. Oh, man. Okay. That's rough. Uh, for a total of... Uh, 17 points of fire damage if you take wow. it all, or eight points right, of fire well, damage if you fine. take I'm half. Fine with okay. That. I'm okay with that. And then the wall goes back. All right, now, so did you touch so am, it? Am I still like hanging by the rod effectively? Like I couldn't kip yes. off of anything? Oh, yes. no, this, there's no, this, like, yeah. this is gonna be the worst thing that you can, this is this is Viari's nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So let's try to figure this out. The good so, news is you only take the damage once on a round, so, so you know the wall passes through. It might through be going right. from the descending to ascending. Yes. Just I think you're getting deeper into hell metaphorically as you do this. Yes. Who would like to? I'm already out here. <laughs> just tell me which one to go on. Okay. I just start pushing the bear. <laughs> <laughs> I sit on Jim. <laughs> that, that haunch, that mega haunch? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Normally I have right, to pay well, for this. <laughs> It's quite expensive and the circus has to be in town. <laughs> this is a treat. <laughs> I celebrate this. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> uh, all right, so you just you just squat on that hunch. Yeah. For like a second. Yeah. And then yeah. I'll, That's all it takes. I'll go out and do the thing. No, I was going to say, I was going to say, I'm fine. I point to the other one with my mage hand and yeah. I point. Uh, let's do it the reverse way. Yeah, yeah. Let's. I would love the reverse of that. Start at the <laughs> start at the lowest level. Yes. And then progress yes. toward the most advanced ones. Okay. So I kind of push off the rod and then deactivate it. Land on it. On the square that you're supposed to. Yeah. Okay. You trigger the trap again. Uh, so okay, make so another dexterity saving throw. No, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh, so you're trying to use the rod again to yep. the first all. The flames. Oh, oh no. Deeply crackle, intense. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Saving throws, everybody. God, deeply intense heat. I'm yes. just like, sorry. And you know the magic number 17. Yes. Oh, thank God. So I need 18, 19, or 20. Oh. Bear's getting singed. Damn it. And I'm still at disadvantage. Yes. Now, did I have a second to cast a spell or anything before he did that? <laughs> it just, I was like, what the fuck? And then it came and hit me again. You're in your happy underbear place. <laughs> oh, that's right. Am I shielded by the bear? <laughs> you know, I'll Actually, give you, I will give you advantage. Bears on your have historically being... been a bulwark yes. against flames. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. More of a bear work. <laughs> oh my no. God. Cursed. 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 I'm doing good. Yeah, yeah okay. you cursed me. You cursed them. I... That's what's happening in that, in that uh... trade. 21, okay. with disadvantage. Got it. So you're going to take no damage because of your evasion. Those who failed are going to take 18 points of damage, and those who succeeded take 9. I'm dead. I turn back into a wood elf. Yeah. Uh, I, if I see you're I, too, am dead. You're both dead. I'm at negative 4. What? So you're at 0. You're at 0. I, you're at 0? No, no, I turn back into a wood elf. totally fine. What? Totally fine. Okay. What is wrong? Uh, so Jim and Omen go down. Good. You're still hanging off the rod. <laughs> it's, Strix, it's, it's a, it's a. This is not a great day for uh, Omen. Uh, Omen, no. Oh <laughs> no! Is this the bear saying that? Yeah, she, no, I turn yeah. back into myself. Ooh. Eli's smoldering at your feet. I run over and cast Cure Wounds. Okay, this is great. Uh, yeah, I, got that, I, I got that pocket mercy. I cast Cure Wounds on Jim. Okay. Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> we just met. Remember. <laughs> I'll just it's hang from my knees off this point. bar. Okay. And uh, you know, these mages are crap at this. Your, I'm your fine clothing, by the way, is all scorched uh, and burned. But, and but you know, this is why you get the nice clothing, yes. so that it burns stylishly. Yes. yes. You know, to expose the appropriate parts of my body. Yes. It singes. But you yeah. have taken every precaution to protect your hair. That's the important thing. Oh, yes. Thing. So yes. That and hasn't been touched. I also, Viari is not ever singed. Yes. He is smoldering. Yes. Yeah. Also, there's there's some stuff you had put in your hair, which is actually resistant to even oh hellfire. fire. Well, yeah. So. So it's, it's, some, it's some rare wax. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but I will, I'm like, I will try to read these freaking runes and figure out my own. 26 points. Back. Thank wow. you so much. That's, that's really good. What do I get? 
25. Oh. <laughs> I rush also over good. and grab your hand. Also good. <laughs> oh, man. Both are good. Stand up. Oh, that's amazing. Can oh, no. we rethink this fucking yeah, trap? Yeah, exactly. So this is not working, people. Doesn't yeah. have to do with the hells, but they're listed as the hells. I don't know. I, I, I mean, it, let's think for a second. What is their, maybe they have a favorite hell. What's their favorite level? Yeah, exactly. Like, what is the is, most hellish? Is every symbol yeah. on there a level of hell, or are there other symbols that might provide context? They're all representative of levels of hell. Okay. Which is the one, uh, since, since they're devils, and they like oh, to yeah. fight each other. And you're doing your thing, so make an intelligence. Um, so maybe... Uh, oh, actually, wisdom insight. Yes, the nine hells. Right. right, so maybe we need to find okay. one of the nine which they like the best. One of the nine like hells that they like the best. So maybe they like this. Well, no, we can't do that because we already did the bottom and the top. Well, this is good data though. It's like, you know, it's like f fail forward, fail faster. Mm. All right. So I know I can't read this. Like, and if, <laughs> if they don't know the hell order, then I'm not going to know the hell order. But I do traps. Mm -hmm. And that means either these things move or people who have come this way have stepped on certain ones. Are they worn? Are they scuffed? Is there mud? That's what I look for. Great. Uh, when you look, you it's see like that this, this place is kept fastidiously clean. Ugh. Even the spikes are Ugh. polished to a nouveau sheen. Nice. Uh, you think I can that see the, them real close. You That's think that this it. trap probably only activated because of the manner in which the secret door was opened in the first place. So it would be safe to cross normally. Not only it's just a decorative floor. Right. It's just lit up, <laughs> lit up for you guys. Right. When the flame moved by me, yes. what did I see on the other end? Oh, uh, you saw... i got to just take a sneak peek at this to see which way it's turned. It is. Okay. You saw the Castellanter house crest on a wall, suggesting another door or barrier okay. that must be opened in a particular fashion. Okay, so job one, let's imagine a universe as far off as it may be, where we succeed at this and get past this wall of green flame. Green flame. Fine. Um, we need to be ready to fight whatever the fuck is in the next room. And that means topping off as many hit points as we can get right now. So right now it's triage time. Who is hurt very badly? Me. Who, who, <laughs> else, who else is in the bone zone? Because we have to top up. Oh, do you need more? I can give you more. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> okay. Hang, hanging, hanging from my knees, I'll be like, I'm fine, boss. I took a short rest. I'm down 12. Okay. <laughs> In preparation for this arduous uh, trap journey. Yeah. Okay. How many times can I use the emote? Rod? Is it sort you of like get 31. On, okay. Omen. Let, me, let me double check. All right. <laughs> Strix gives you 31. <laughs> All right. Okay, 57, quite good. You've used it twice, right? I'm looking quite yeah. good at this point. Who else? So you're back to full hit points as a wood elf. Where are you at, actually? Uh, Dangling from this rod. 53. You're uh, actually at 53? Mm -hmm. are, are, is he actually at 53? <laughs> I took a short rest, used up all my hit dice, and I oh, and you've have evaded. evasion. Yep. Okay, all right, all right. You're, There's you're no okay. limit on how many times you can use the game. 26. It's just the 26. You need, you need help. Yeah, I would love so. And I'm going to give you some help 12. right now. This would take me to full. Having lived in Waterdeep, do I know anything about the cast lanterns that might suggest their preference for... Or maybe... the ca it's, a, it's, a, it's a family? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so they may be from a specific place also. But remember, the... the the ground, this, this, this whole thing is just messed up. Right. This is just decorative. This is just the foyer. Yeah. Like it's not supposed to be, <laughs> this is only because of that up there. It's only because of how we got in that this is even messed up. Well, I'm gonna try to do an insight check on anything I know about these people. Okay. Cause I, we've been living in Troll Skull Alley for a while now, so. Sure. Nope, uh, I don't okay. know anything. It was so close. I own nothing. You this know is nothing. cursed. <laughs> <laughs> this is cursed. All right. Eight. Eight. Yep. I mutter about how I didn't pay attention to anything because our house blew up seven In times. In school. <laughs> yeah. What you do know about them without having to make a check is that they have no problem with overkill. There you go. <coughs> Fair. 
Now, Mike, you're topped up. Thank okay, you. so now we sort of have our thing here. So we need to, in truth, we don't want to be bounced around. No. Anything that passes over these can be flung around. What, what system, what crafty system can we use? I can create a bulwark of some kind to protect us like a dome, but the fact is, is that this thing will still fling us around. Could we polymorph into something light enough to not set off the traps? Well, that's what I was thinking, but he said you couldn't even float over it or fly, right? Yeah, that's light. Yeah. yeah. That's the lightest. <clears throat> if I, like, so I've sort of been thrown to the side, but I'm not constantly triggering this trap just no. by being above. No. So. There's only once. Um, I also, given, I'm assuming I'm kind of close to this wall of spikes, intimately yes. close. Yes, yes. Um, reach out and touch on, ooh, sharp. <laughs> um, Pokey. Would it be like, like looking to scale, these spikes look to be a couple of feet long? They're, yeah, they're like s long sword blade length. Okay. So, and given that I'm already up close to him and the trap isn't triggering. Yes. Long sword, this is way enough room for my body. I get in amongst the spikes, mm -hmm. so I can't be thrown into the spikes. So, like, just sort of nestle yourselves up, mm -hmm. like, just kind of. And I'd be up. like, Hey guys, how about you get in the stairway for a second? Up high. No, like far from fire, mostly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. We're going to pull ourselves up mm -hmm. where the heat is not. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. yes. The other thing you notice uh, as you're surveying this is that the, the wall of fire does not brush up against the spikes. Oh. Okay. So being among the spikes means that the fire doesn't actually touch you as it goes past, if it were. Okay. Weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, so well, because they figured anybody on the spikes would be dead. They, yeah, they dead. have their own problems. Yeah, <laughs> right. But then if we polymorph into like say rats, we could climb along the spikes and get to the other side. Yeah, just like 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 yeah. like a uh, moi dip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a pop hop. Why nice. do we do that? I can I say, polymorph. I'll say because we haven't tested it yet. Uh, are they in the stairwell? Yeah. Okay. Then um, I will. Ninja Try through to the spikes. snake through the yep. over and under the spikes. Make a dexterity oh. acrobatics I mean, we, check. No, okay. Normal us, we can't do that, so we're gonna have to well, turn into rats. Well, he's, I, he's I, fine. I, we're just gonna test to see if it's okay to be in yes. there. I am testing this, but also I am not interested in doing this unless it looks good. I understand. Okay. okay. So close. Uh, uh, nine. Watch and this, this is though. acrobatics. You said. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, this is uh, stupid. 72. Okay. <laughs> uh, so normally it would look stupid. You sort of like slinking your body up around these spikes. And actually it's very, very hard to do. Um, like you have to be really, really dexterous for someone your size to move between these spikes the way you are, like snake almost. But you pull it off and you get to the end. You can see the wall of fire is still there, but you, you get past the spikes, past the floor tiles and you're on the other landing or above the other landing. Now, you right. poke around over there, see if there is, see if there is, uh, for example, a button. Some lever? Or a, a lever would be great, especially if it's currently on. on. Right. The fire, <laughs> want, if there's a not fire. We want to, yeah, we want the, like, whatever the opposite. A fire symbol with the line no, through it. No, yeah. none here. No fire. <laughs> um, Something like this. Now, if it goes both ways and there's a double fire. Yeah. Do not. Okay. And you see that there is a gap behind the curtain of flame as well, where the flame is not filling. Right. Mm -hmm. I like this. Um, I'll flip through a fire. Okay. Make a dexterity saving throw. You have evasion, so if you succeed, you'll take the damage. 20. You succeed. Wow. Okay. Whoop. All right. It looks uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, as you land there, the fire goes out and the floor goes dark. Oh! Okay, so as long as you get through it. I'm like ready to be a rat. And you sense yeah, yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, You're like right on the, on the last step. Yeah. And you sense that you kind of landed on a bit of a pressure plate that seems to have deactivated everything. I, I'll, I'll, I'll turn around. I'm like, it was very complicated, but and I. When you uh, land there, this crest <laughs> suddenly turns away. <gasps> and you see an, an, a circular antechamber Whoa. that spins around. I don't want to go in there. Well, luckily, do you guys just want me to you don't go have in and to. go in and get all the stuff out, come back in a second? That's going to be great for us, yeah. 
<laughs> okay. And I step into the. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, I didn't think it would automatically trigger. <laughs> Yeah, so you see him <laughs> rotate out of the way. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm like, wait! Roll initiative, Pat. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Oh. Oh. He's just gonna die in there. Dude, that's gonna be several... Several fist sized As chunks it, of no, VRE. No, hold on. I like to I like to imagine that this it turns slowly. Yeah. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and I just step backwards into it and I feel it move and then I keep my expression cool <laughs> until I'm out of sight. And then I'm like, just like a, a like a lizard in a glass jar. Yeah. Like a I'm skitter. like, are there fucking buttons anywhere? <laughs> like and okay, I get do have my stuff. I got my yeah. my weapons. So um, uh, as you're and, looking, and around. actually, can I get? I want to fucking ninja up onto the ceiling, so oh like I'm God. invisible to the door. Oh, I see what you're saying. But the door goes. See, it's just a gap, so it's, it goes so all it's, the way. It's, up. Yeah, it's flush yes. ceiling. Yes. So thwarted you there. As you're okay. clambering up, though, make a athletics check to try to climb these smooth walls. A they got a curve to them, so you can leverage that. But twenty. Yeah. So you can sort of lodge yourself. Up high to make it a little bit more yeah. hard to hit, and kind of around. I'll do that, the edge and a little around the edge, the just to be like they'll just see it. And it's like and as oh. you're looking down, you can see that there is a symbol on the marble floor, basically um, inlaid in gold, and it looks like three Fuck triangles. You. <laughs> three triangles arranged in a triangular format. These wizards and their runes and shit. Like, yeah. uh, oh, that's. That's Zelda. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. And as you are perched in this room by yourself, uh, a creature comes into the doorway and tries to murder you. Um, and that creature looks like this, oh, Pat. No. Oh, what's it look like? It, it's going to be one of the ones with the pinchy hands, oh, I bet. Oh, like no. Okay. Just, so <laughs> I need you to make a... Who we have two. Oh, we haven't I seen it. Yeah. Nobody want to know. This is all happening behind closed doors. And we're just listening. We just hear. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you all later. <laughs> grit, 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 grit. Yeah. <laughs> just scream. It comes back forever. around and it's just blood. And sticky bones on the floor. It's like The Shining. It's just like it's full of blood <laughs> and then it just <laughs> rushes out. Yes. Uh. I need you to make an initiative roll. Uh, okay, oh my yeah. god. I forgot what I rolled. Okay. <laughs> I just love the world. Like, AF world is listening. Oh, no, no. Does it like, sound good? No, it seems bad. So we need we need to find whatever the button is 14. that he found. Okay. So it gets to go first. Um, it makes... Come and step on this fucking pressure plate. It makes two claw attacks against you. Um, one's going to miss. It does a 17 hit your armor class? No. Okay. And then it's going to hit you with its tail thingy. That's gonna hit with a twenty-three. Okay. Tail thingy, dude. It's gonna yeah. be that motherfucker with the bug eyes. I does twelve pinchy. points of damage. Okay, and I'll use the thing. I take half. The uncanny dodge. Yeah, uncanny yeah. dodge. <laughs> right. um, and you are turned into a devil. <clears throat> All right. Like what do you do on your turn? Uh, it's, Test myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's death from above. Um, sorry, seven. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fall on him like an avenging angel. Yeah, sexier and right. uh, Just activate the murder device. Yep. Okay, apocalypse dagger does real good. Um, I roll actions there, so it's a nineteen that hits, and a way more than nineteen, two hits, and I get my. Bonus action, it can trigger Chippy. Mm -hmm. So, Chippy, I choose you. Okay. So you throw the owlbear down. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then, turns into a gigantic owlbear, which suddenly takes up a lot of that space. <laughs> um, and then, since I have an ally within five feet, I get to sneak attack. Oh, mm -hmm. so I see you were throwing Chippy down first, and then Chippy, going to town with the weapon. I would re-roll those if you'd prefer. No, 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 it's okay. fine. You, you hit. Go okay. Ahead. Um, it's been a while since yep. uh, I come been in. a while. So, okay, thank you, Dice, for finally turning in my face. Just give me the super total. Uh, the rest of you, <laughs> yeah. see, since another creature basically has entered this thing, the room comes back around again, <laughs> and suddenly he's in a pitched battle. With a creature inside this With cylinder? With a creature inside this cylinder, the creature looks like that. 
Oh a no! Barbed devil. Oh no! Whoa. Why so is he so barbed? It's a spiky yes. one. He needs to. He needs to or go. Barbed he, devil. Yeah, exactly. Prefer. He needs no, to talk to a specialist. Yeah, get those barbeds removed. Yes. Okay. It is thirty-one. 40. Yeah, right. Do you know this guy? Oh, don't. I'm doing my math in my head. <laughs> 43 points of damage. All right. So does does Chippy get his attacks too? Uh, he'll get his attacks next round. Okay. Cool. It's like when you summon a creature yeah. in magic. <clears throat> all right. This kind of starts. All right. Happen. So it's just all white owlbear, blood, barbed devils, <laughs> oh and, and Viari in there as it spins around. Everybody else can roll initiative now. <laughs> We're just watching. Still fine. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Ow. Ow. Why the twos? Six. Yeah. Wow, you guys got two. Dude, that box caught two knives. Nine. It does. I got uh, three. Three. Amy? Twenty-two. Right, Twenty-two. Walnut, what do you do as this room spins around and there's all this carnage happening? You certainly had to ask, didn't you? <laughs> um, well, a lot of my stuff is based on fire, and I imagine that that would not be the best thing to use here. You imagine um, correctly. So, uh, how how entangled is Viare with this creature? Uh, they are fighting tooth and claw, as it were. They're close, but you can still distinguish them as targets. Um, uh, they're, they're, one's not blocking the other. Okay, um, then I will um, cast uh, Moonbeam. <laughs> oh, in the oh wow! Inside okay. the cylinder. Inside the cylinder. Oof! What's the radius of the moonbeam? Um, well, five feet. Okay, so pretty much fill the inside of the cylinder. All right. With so silvery light. You're well, everybody inside the cylinder is now basking in a moony glow. Well, okay. I thought that maybe I could get like not VR in that, but you totally want to be a VR. <laughs> This oh is, yeah, I'm actually I'm thinking back to when he destroyed the document. <laughs> no, I, I will also say there is a a creature in here, a a, a beautiful owl bear, innocent, innocent. Oh, you don't know a lot about me. Big, <laughs> big, big dewy eyes. Okay. Yeah, she made a pie out of an owl bear once. So is it, it does the moonbeam? Uh, do they roll on their turn a saving throw? Um, I was let me look. Works. Uh, I think they take damage instantly. When they enter the spell area for the first time yeah. on a turn. Great. So they have to make saving throws, correct? Yes. You do? Um, and I'm going to cast at a higher level, so it's going to be 3d10. Great. And what's wow. the save DC for your spell? Um, where, where, where do it say? Just make a mind. Oh, it's a con 17. Oh, okay. Why so, did I even put together that PowerPoint about friendly fire and you, remember? <laughs> and there was actually well, fire, well, it was no, real fire. And you spent extra money on the template. It's like, yeah. it had the, the heat. Yeah. Also it was dated fourth edition, so it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> hadn't uh, been updated. <laughs> uh, did I hear the terrible news that this it's is? It's a DC 17 con. Con save. Yes. Boo. Um, Your out there made it. Yay, Chippy. Hey. 15. Con 17. 17! Hey, hey, so, hey. Okay, nice. so, but it's a con save, so you can't dodge out of the way of it with evasion. Okay. So you're going to take half damage, I believe. I have a 310, so it's already, yeah. it's... Like, yeah, half damage. It's okay. a heap in health. So roll your 3d10. I did, and it is 20 damage. Ow. Damn! The devil took all of that, by the Yay. way. Yay! That's great news. Yeah. Sorry, Ben. And next up in the initiative order is the devil. Uh, so... The actual devil. Is the yes. fucking devil. He's <laughs> the fucking devil. And he'll just continue what he's doing, raking you with his claws and slapping you with his tail. Uh, I guess all those Christians were right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two misses with the claws. Uh, but again, he hits you with the spiked tail. Okay. For another 12. Okay. Okay, same as before. And the room's still turning, by the way. Oh, <laughs> it won't be out of view until the bottom of the initiative count. Ooh. Uh, so, what do you think? better than before. Okay, that's one hit. So, two um, healthy hits? Yeah, two. One, and luckily the Apocalypse Dagger didn't hit 20. I didn't like that last time that happened. <laughs> um, and, I'm gonna sneak attack again because Chippy's close. Ooh! 10. Uh, 20, 25, 30, 41. Okay. <laughs> wow. No, 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 sorry. 30, 
Seven. Damn. Okay. Uh, okay. Great. Thank you. No, that's wrong. This is the devil's here. Thank you. Thank you for that damage. All right, the devil, the devil is well and truly bloodied at this point in time, bleeding profusely all over the place. And then it is Jim's turn. Okay. Uh, Jim's magic missile cast at third level. So I got five bolts. I'm just sending right into that devil's face. He did see the PowerPoint. Four magic missile in you. Yeah. Six plus uh, five is 11. Mm-hmm. 13. Okay. How many times have I rolled that? That's four. Four. Plus five. 18. 18. Okay. This devil is looking super hurt. And. Uh, Just a nest of bees. Chippy's next. So roll a 20 sided die. Get chipped. Uh, that's going to hit. Uh, roll, uh, roll a d8 plus five, please. And 13. He takes half of that because he's a devil. Um, They're safe from owlbears. <laughs> all right, and then for that was the claws for the bite of the owlbear. Roll again. Ooh. That hits, and roll two d six plus five. Ooh. Eight. That's fourteen. All right. Uh, reduced to seven is still enough to kill the devil. Yay! Right. So the devil you killed the devil, you guys. <laughs> Uh, and as, as the room is slowly revolving, it is uh, now Omen's turn. So you see the devil go down under Chippy's claws and the stabby stabby of the bard right. and the magic missile and everything else. Exactly. Yeah. And so and the moonbeam is still <laughs> shining down brightly in the room. I can I can wait for that to stop. How long is that? Do I know how long that's going to be there? Until so someone tells me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I'll, I'll, just, I'll say that's good moment. Oh, I, I, I let it drop. Okay. All right, so everybody, I, 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 I just pile everybody in. Oh, okay. Oh, so you, you try to like, yeah, like the elevator doors closing. Yeah, no, no, like, it's, <laughs> it's like in the, it's like in the foyer, yeah. the lobby. Uh, yes, uh, but eventually it'll, you'll still have a chance to have it come around again. Um, and what you see beyond? Oh, oh. oh I see you. You see a, you see a marble vault that has uh, lights on the walls. Oh, wow. There are two ornamental gargoyles perched on plinths to either side of the entry, but they look inanimate. And there are nine sealed chests. And floating above each chest is an infernal rune, similar to the ones mm. on the floor out there. You're so good nine chests, <laughs> one rune per layer of the nine hells, floating protectively above each chest. Mm. In the middle of the room, however, is a centerpiece very, very unusual. That looks like a woman made of solid gold, holding up something in her hand that looks like a world. Hmm. Does she look familiar at all, or maybe a god? Or yeah, I think I think a you religion. Can, you can attempt to yeah. make a religion check if yeah. you think she's a religious figure, or a history check if you think she's out of history. I got twenty-one religion. Jim just knows a lot of women. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's <laughs> pretty much. I'm oh like Samantha. Oh, that's so good. But she, I know oh her. Oh okay. God. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna try the uh, religious <laughs> please aspect. But yeah. Hey. Whoa. The number of the beast. Cool. Nineteen. Um, there. <laughs> none of you sense anything familiar about her. Oh. Um, she doesn't seem to be any figure from your history, any figure from Weird. prominent religion, or any figure that Jim has <laughs> met. <laughs> I say, but also, like any anyone who would, you know, historically be immortalized in this way, she's yeah. not yes. putting. There's no no bell right. of any kind. And there's some, but there is something as you as you uh, start to move in toward her. There is something about her that suggests this is not some craftsman's work. Oh, some representation person. of a woman. Oh. This is this is like this is a like stone like shape. It stone, kind of stone it's of so flesh. realistic. You think that she may have been turned into okay. gold, solid gold. Do we think you it's could, like gold all the way have, down? You'd have to probably like knock on it to I'll, um, do it. I'll go up and give it a. I I, I I go I go eat dink. <laughs> no 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 no. I'm ready. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's too late. God I, damn you. <laughs> All right. Now, I, I do want it noted that I'm like, Whoof. and then I, I look at you, and I'm like, the okay. World that she, the world that she's holding sort of opens up like a split pomegranate. And there is 
a sort of a blistering wave of magical energy that erupts from the globe. And at this moment, I, Chris Perkins, your former dungeon master, is going to take my, I'm going to take my leave and yield my DM's hat going forward to Jeremy Crawford, my illustrious colleague. And he is going to describe to you what transpires next and carry you forward on your future journeys. Thank you, Chris. So, it's been a hell of a run, guys. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you for letting me torture you for ele <laughs> 11 years. Well, oh, no. the, more the, or less. The pleasure, the pleasure was all ours. Like, technically, you yeah. still torture me, yeah. so no. you're still my DM. I just borrow others. <laughs> yes. so we're going to meet a special new friend? That's right. And uh, Jeremy is going to lead you on your escapades, starting with PAX Unplugged. Okay. In wow. your weeks. So as this globe opens up, Lightning starts arcing out from it all around you. Your hair, if you have it, begins <laughs> to stand on end. Even, even your any loose garment you have begins to actually rise up into the air as if gravity is suddenly dropping away from this chamber. And there is a sudden lurch in all of your stomachs as you feel like the room is starting to spin around you and you feel yourselves drawn in a sudden jerk toward the center of that orb. Uh -oh. And as you see each other, you see each other actually stretching out as oh. if you were flattening, becoming almost like little rays of light and you are suddenly pulled unavoidably into the center of this globe. As everyone is being pulled in, and you've, you feel like you are more stretched out than you ever have been in your life, even, even when a bear has been sitting upon <laughs> you. Uh, but as, as, as you are all being pulled toward the center of this globe, Strix, uh -huh. you feel this warm, presence at your feet, uh -huh. a presence that then begins to coalesce into it almost like two very firm hands. Uh -huh. and, and you hear a voice uh -huh. in your head, a very refined voice. Uh -huh. And the voice says, daughter of this pact made by your family. Uh -huh. You are not yet allowed to leave this multiverse. Excuse me? <laughs> For you are bound to this one until your work is done. Uh, who, who, who are you? You have said my name many times today. Oh, God damn it. That's a big mistake. And so Strix, <laughs> as the voice- You hear me crying? Do I, do I see her talking to nothing? Yes, as, as the voice of Asmodeus whispers in your mind, I'm so you upset. see the other four vanish. But it... And there is a glimmer of light inside that globe, and then you see this open globe implode upon itself. <clears throat> and it is gone. Oh, well, they're gone. And all that is left is the statue standing there with nothing where the globe used to be. Well, Omen's dead. <laughs> the four of you. Commemorative five. You'd be like, I'm free! Yeah. <laughs> and then I cast the, the my recall spell and I'm like, well, and I just leave. <laughs> and there is no trace of them, Strix. It is, a, is it, it is a if they never existed here. Did I recognize that as a portal? It looked like it. All right, well, but there was dead. There was a strange quality to it. Because the, the, there was the stretching, there was, a, there was a tension to the transport that you have never seen before. Mm. Yeah, there's some spatial weirdness. Yeah, it's weird. I don't like it. The, the four of you stretched out 
you suddenly realize you're each screaming. Uh, you, as light cascades past you with arcs of electricity going around you, you begin to reach a point and then you begin to spin in a circle, almost like you're in a centrifuge. Orbit or something. Yes. Yeah. And you can see far down below you, it looks almost like a great wheel. Oh my God, unfair. And, <laughs> and you see- Unfair. You see, you see in the center of the wheel, there is a great peak. And around it, up at the top, there is a donut-like city hovering. And as you spin, you spin higher and higher and higher up above it. And you think perhaps that is where you were going. But no, you spin higher and higher and higher and to this point in the sky and you are suddenly launched out of what you think might be the multiverse you know. And I need each of you to make a constitution saving throw as your stomach lurches. <laughs> scary. And I'm gonna leave my stomach in this multiverse. <laughs> hey, 20. Nice signal fly home though. Nice, right? <laughs> Two. It's con, you said? Con. Yeah. <laughs> like five. <laughs> That's even a good stat for me. All right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> everyone but Viari, you take seven psychic damage oh. from the distress <laughs> okay. of, of this transport, and the three of you throw up. <laughs> and you are spinning. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Viari, even though you succeeded on your oh. roll. You get to enjoy the fruits of their failure. <laughs> the fruits of their lunch. The high yes. volume. Just some little fruits. Oh, it's just like seven pies. Yeah. yeah. No, no, oh. it's just pie everywhere. Pie oh, slurry. God, no, it's gross. And in fact, as as Omen and Walnut, as you finish expelling your lunch, Jim, you just keep going. <laughs> yeah, you ate more pie. Sense. Pie after pie. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> and, and as the last bit of pie and somehow undigested crust even yeah. fires out uh, of your mouth, the spinning suddenly stops. And you find yourselves landing on a metal floor inside a vast glowing silver circle. And above you, just as before when you were launched up, you saw, it was almost like a diorama below you, that great yeah. wheel, that pillar, uh, that, that city of Sigil below you. As you're looking up now, you see a globe that has actually that wheel in it and then other crystalline spheres hovering in the air above you with lightning coursing over it. And as you land on the floor on all fours, that globe that Strix saw implode suddenly explodes into being right next to you, but the light within it goes out. And as this happens, your head is spinning, your stomachs are queasy, you hear a voice beyond this glittering area that you're in, and you hear footsteps. Boom, boom, boom. And coming into view, you see before you a humanoid elephant with, 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 the, with the body of a man, but great, great head of an elephant with with goggles on and overalls and various tools in his belt and stroking his trunk. Aww. He says, well, I'll be, it works. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks, at, he looks at all of you and looks up at the spinning spheres above you and he says, well, you have arrived in a new place. Welcome to Ravnica. <laughs> and as he says this, you hear a crack up above you. And the sphere up in the sky that had that image of the great wheel, it explodes. Ah. And as 
It explodes, there is a ripple of electricity through the other spheres, and they begin to tumble from the ceiling. And he says, fiddlesticks. <laughs> and that is where we'll end. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Here, so we got multi-dimensional travel. We got... No, I think we had yeah, multi-dimensional yeah, travel. And some spell jammers. 